Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. For today's video, I'm going to be showing how to split up a big video in Caden Live into smaller chunks. Um, I'm using again as an example this uh, video interview I shot on Friday uh, with Noga Levtsion Nadan, who is a uh, very interesting lady and an impact investor. Our conversation, as you can see from these two clips in my timeline bin, came to about 30 minutes. So when you have a clip like this and you're looking to use it effectively in your video marketing, I think there's really two sort of things that you can consider doing. The first is adding timestamps to your YouTube video. And in fact, I'm just going to drag over my uh, sure video that I did from last night. The way you do that is pretty straightforward. You find places in your video where, you know, you want to add a chapter and you just add the timestamp. This is how I do it anyway. I break out a section in my video description and call it timestamps and then I'll just kind of add the timestamps where I move on to different topics. So if you've got a big big long 30 minute interview and you know that not everyone's going to watch the whole thing then one recommendation I'd make is to break that video into chapters. Now another way that's very effective and that actually can allow you to sort of get a second life out of your content is to split a big video file into smaller chunks and distribute them via for instance, LinkedIn native video, which as far as I know, has a maximum duration time of 10 minutes, right? So I'm just gonna drag um, a bit of this interview here onto my timeline and show you kind of what I would do. So I'm just gonna skim past the, the point where I do the interview, uh, where I do the intro, I should say, and I'm just kind of looking at where I begin uh, to ask a question. Here, so in response to that sort of broad question, where are we with impact investing in Israel? In response to that sort of broad so. So I'm going to just kind of start here. So what I'm going to do is chop out this bit. And I just did a little intro uh, for this video. But this is what I want to show in this video. I'm going to show how to specifically uh, export a little bit from your timeline. So this is where I'm going to do my fade in uh, to this part of the interview. Tell us a little bit because you're awesome. I'm just kind of, you know, glancing through my timeline. I can see this is where uh, the interview subject is speaking. And then it goes back to me. So I'm just going to pause Impact here. In our value squared funds okay and i'm gonna add my pause here now here's what here's my workflow that i'm uh, showing in this video there's two keyboard shortcuts for selecting a zone in caden live there is i and there is o i will begin a selection zone and o will end a selection zone so what i'm going to do is zoom into my timeline so i can see exactly what i'm doing here and i'm going to hit the o key and you can see that the selection has just jumped to uh, this point now what i'm going to do is click on render and I'm going to go into render project and uh, I'm just going to give this file a dummy name uh, for instance we'll just call it test segment okay and what you want to do is make sure that you are rendering the selected zone only right so by default you're going to be rendering the full project and you want to move that over to selected zone and then I'm going to just render this segment and because we're only rendering a few minutes, it's going to take uh, just, you know, about three minutes to render. And that's basically the workflow. So what I do is kind of go in to my interview. When this file is rendered, I'll then delete this from my timeline, user remove space to put the next segment to the start, and then uh, repeat the process by putting the end of my zone at the next clip I want to break out from this interview. So this is a workflow that I found that works for uh, making small clips in Caden Live out of a longer clip, particularly uh, useful as I've done in the in the context of this example for breaking up a long interview into a uh, smaller topic-based clips. And then uh, when you have those smaller clips, of course, as I mentioned, it opens up some possibilities to you that you can export that video on places like Twitter native video that has a time limit, I think of two minutes or LinkedIn that has a 10 minute or Instagram or wherever else you want to distribute your video content. Hope this was helpful. And if you do want to get more videos from me, do feel free to subscribe to this YouTube channel.